All right, welcome back. Transformers have been known to be multimodal, known to be more in due to lack of some other more expressive term, more intelligent than uh, traditional CNNs or maybe RNNs that they have uh, sort of replaced. And, and of course, I'm I'm excluding the paper RNN Strikes Back, which just came out recently that I have yet to take a look at, but essentially they are considered more capable uh, due to multiple factors. And I also sort of agree with that statement because a lot of good research that has come out of DeepMind uh, and other labs have just been about the scaling laws of transformers, which is you can get a lot of improvement on a particular task or a particular dom domain by making no architectural or data set changes just by scaling transformers to a higher degree, which is which is sort of uh, a known phenomenon right now. But one thing that they have actually struggled with, and that's why I've sort of stayed away from away from them in production, is the the cost to compute uh, ratio, where the compute needed to run inference or to to be able to deploy transformers in an economical fashion is sort of absent so this is a big deal when i say that transformers are now real time this new paper came out i guess a few days ago by baidu the research lab there and they built it out on their own uh, framework called paddle paddle which is sort of a torch alternative for them and this paper claims to have had higher accuracies than than YOLO single shot detector models and keeping it real time as well. Now this in itself is quite impressive but they took it a step further to say that the NMS module is not, no longer needed because the output does not contain uh, the duplicate detections. One of the things that has really been complex in some solutions has been to export models and with with the NMS head. NMS head is quite difficult to work with and sometimes you need to re-implement it on your own in, in, a, in a different language, maybe C++ or something like that, which sort of is has been a problem for a lot of people that want to, who, who want to um, export it into other formats. So which is why we have, by the way, this is Ultralytics framework uh, docs page and we have included this real-time detection transformer model in our models hub which means you can use it just the way you use any YOLO model. So it is quite simple. So here are some numbers. They got they, they claim to have gotten 54 MAP but we transferred the weights and, and uh, we have val validated the same way using PyCoco tools so there might be some discrepancies there but again this number is quite impressive because it's real time it's attention you know this is happening for the first time uh, that you know the backbone itself is you know transformer backbone and still it performs really well, well in its real time so how to use it it's it's quite simple you just Im import our detector from Ultralytics select the model and just start to predict now it, it supports every type of prediction in engine Every type of prediction source that YOLO supports. So we built it. We built this to be the simplest uh, and simple solution that we'll come across to to interact with this model. Right now, as we as we currently, as I speak, we are currently working on uh, the trainer for it. We we are working on a trainer, and so then you will be able to train your own models. Right now, you can try uh, the Coco version um, on 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 any device that you're working on, and yeah, it's pretty simple, and this is why we we spend a lot of time on on you know simplifying stuff. You, you can see some results here by our friend here who has posted some results on LinkedIn. I'll just show you the performance. Again, it's quite good. It's real time. It detects uh, all the objects, and it's quite accurate and, and fast. So, yeah, this is a quick intro to RT data detection. Transformers are now real time. And again, uh, I'll make some 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 of these updates uh, about Sam as well. Uh, again, as another model, 
But I guess that is it for this one. So see you in the next one. Bye.